everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Um like to start with sorry if the sound quality is pretty crap. I'm actually having to use my iPhone to record the sound and video because well I'm obviously using the Kraken for the review. So uh yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, uh let's get started. Um the Razor Kraken Neon Pro um cost about eighty pounds over in the UK. I got mine from Amazon mainly because the Razer website was well it's turned out to be more expensive so I thought well fuck it let's we'll get off Amazon I'll get it for 80. Well sorted. Anyway I bought this one the orange one uh, because well I like orange uh, one of my favorite colors and I was Looking online for reviews and stuff like that, just to kind of get a feel of what the Razer Kraken would be like. Because I, I want a headset that's comfy to wear, uh, you know, good sound quality, good mic, etc, etc. What you kind of look for in a headset, basically. So I settled for this one. Um, as you can see, it's not inside because I am already using it. And I've been using it for about maybe three, four weeks now. And I must admit, it's really comfortable. Also, the sound deadening on it is really good. So if someone's speaking to you, you cannot hear a fucking word they're saying. Which is awesome if you've got a nagging girlfriend or a wife. Um. So anyway, I'd like to speak about this and what comes in the box. Uh, to be honest, you get your usual shape if I'm honest you know your little oh they're not there okay scrap that <laughs> uh, I think you get your little normal razor products like this is an official product blah 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 but anyway this is just the box you know descriptions of shit on the side your usual stuff blah 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 stuff on the back what it looks like etc etc anyway this is just the box so let's get this out of the way because Ooh, a box. Anyway, this is the headset in question. Um, as you can see, really orange. One thing I did say is uh, when you're looking at the photos online and when you actually get the thing in person, so much brighter. Um, so, so much brighter. And I was really happy with that because I really like a bright orange. A um, few things about it. Um... It's alright, I found it a bit tight at first when I first got it, but it does tend to ease off after a while, I found. So, you know, com comfort-wise, I can happily wear this for hours without any pain. Also, you've got, kind of got the moving cups, which is a big bonus. Also, they fold. Ooh. Um, so that's good if you want to take them anywhere. I mean, I've seen people walking down the street with these, using them as, like... A music headset, and that is one of the downside to these things. Um, they are incredibly bassy. Uh, like bass on these things are mental. Um, so if you're just wanting to listen to music, I wouldn't really recommend these unless it's like game music. Then yeah, perfect. But you know this these were built for gaming, so you know what do you expect? Um, retractable mic's really good, as you can see. Ooh. Um, to be honest, I don't really tend to retract it because it works when it's in like that. So you don't really need it. And it's quite sensitive, so, you know, it's not too bad. Now, there's a few different Razer headphone products, and some use USB and some will use the jacks. So I got the one with the jack because, you know, it works for a lot more stuff that I've found in my house anyway. So you've got your normal standard connector at the end. But it also comes with a cable that you plug into, so you can use the oh bloody hell, you can use the splitters. So you know you can plug into your PC, etc. So it works with ones who have two and ones that have one. Now, a question I was asking quite a lot before I bought them is, does it work with the new gen consoles like the PS4, etc. And I got a. Yeah and no. Um, there was a guy online. I can't remember his name. It's his. It was on YouTube. He um said you just had to wiggle it and then push it in at the right time and it would connect. And to be fair, he was right. 
Um, he was right, because it did work. But it was an utter pain in the ass to actually keep it going. Um, I mean, if you turned the console off, you'd have to do the exact same thing again. Fanny around for 10 minutes to get the fucking work. And then you just couldn't be arsed. So... If you do have one of the new gen consoles, it does work with the PS4, but I'd recommend getting one of these. It is just an adapter for your PS4 controller so it can use the, the multi instead of the one. So it uses both the headphone and audio, and then this just plugs into your controller. And you do have to push it in a certain way, but it's a hell of a lot easier than uh, doing it with just the headset. So I'd recommend getting one of these. I got mine off Amazon for about, what, four pounds or something so you know pretty much nothing um anyway i think that's all i have to say on this headset i if you're wanting it for gaming go ahead i would definitely get this headset whether or not it's better than just the normal razor crack and pros i wouldn't say it's any better it's just more if you like a different color i suppose to be a little bit different i mean i like the the lime green as well they look awesome but i really wanted orange hence the reason i got the pro ones uh so either or really you can go for these or you can go for the just the standard razor crack and pros and you're, you're gonna get a good headset either way for gaming again audio me anyway guys i'm gonna wrap this up um this was sa gamer reviews and i hope you enjoyed this video uh, comment rate subscribe you know the usual bollocks and I'll see you again next time. Bye.